Hi everyone, how are you all doing? So what are we cooking? Okay, now this is one of my favorites. We are going to be making fried chicken. So crispy fried chicken thighs, but just without frying. Now I have an air fryer, which is absolutely amazing. So these cook perfectly in the oven. So really it's fried chicken without deep frying, if you know what I mean. So if you don't have an air fryer, then you can use a uh, oven for this. That's absolutely fine. Just on a normal 180 degrees um, temperature. But I can assure you these come out super tasty and crispy. So chicken thighs is what you should be using for this. On the bone is better, with the skin on is even better. Um, if you prefer to use boneless, then that's absolutely fine as well. Or you can use drumsticks for this as well. So let's make a start. So to begin with, we have to make a flour coating. So nice clean bowl here. Firstly, what you want to add is some plain flour, goes in like so. Um, and then what we want to go ahead and add is some chicken powder. So this has got immense flavor in it and it's also quite salty as well. So it's called chicken seasoning or chicken powder. So you can use either. Failing to get hold of either of those, try just crushing a stock cube, a chicken stock cube in there. But of course, this, like I said, is seasoned, so you need to go easy with any other seasoning that you put in. Um, I've also got here some baking powder. Now, that is my secret to add that crispiness to the thighs, so that's gone in. Uh, I've got some black pepper here, so black pepper goes in as well. Now, you can make these as spicy as you want them. So, I've got some smoked paprika here, which I'm going to be quite generous with, so about two teaspoons of smoked paprika or to taste. You can add some cayenne pepper or some red chili powder if you like as well. Now, I like to give this a nice earthy warm edge as well with my cumin um, as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a teaspoon of cumin powder as well. I have some garlic granules here. So I'm gonna flavor this really well with some garlic. So garlic goes in. Now I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, mix and the kind of mixture you want is of course a dry um, flour mix for your thighs so go ahead and mix this as well as possible now like I said this is going to be quite seasoned because of my chicken powder so I'm only going to go ahead and add a pinch of salt not too much because I don't want these to be you know over salty so that should be perfect now the good thing with the uh, air fryer is that you don't need to preheat it. So if you are using a normal oven, then you need to preheat that to 180 degrees. And in a normal oven, the chicken thighs will take about 40 to 45 minutes. You might want to turn them over halfway. In the air fryer, shouldn't take longer than about 20 to 25 minutes. And again, you want to turn them um, halfway. Okay, right, all mixed well together. Get your chicken thigh. So like I said, my one has the bone in skin on. That's going to give it that nice crispiness. And you literally are just coating your chicken thigh in your seasoned flour mixture like this and laying it on the tray for now like this. Right, all coated as I want them, quite generously actually, and that's how they need to be coated. So with lots and lots of that flour seasoning. Okay, I have my air fryer basket here. And what I'm going to do is, with some spray oil, just spray my basket or the bottom of my basket. You don't want these to get stuck. Don't worry if it goes a little bit on the chicken, that's absolutely fine. And what you're gonna do is just place the thighs like this and I'm going to be doing four at a time you need more spray oil just to spray like this and then halfway you're going to go ahead and turn them over and spray the other side as well right ready for the air fryer
good do these look and so crispy cooked perfectly in the air fryer also works so well in the oven now I often get asked how do you know if it's cooked from the middle so i use a temperature probe or temperature gun which tells me that my chicken is cooked perfect through the middle if you don't have a temperature gun then simply cut through your chicken in the middle like this and just see that all the juices are running clear and you'll see if i can just show you there that, that is actually cooked to perfection just as you want it in fact guess what this is a great excuse for me to try right here goes Sorry. I mean, I've made this before and it's good. But today, that is actually amazing. No joke. That is going to be perfect with a side salad or some fries or just on its own with a little bit of garlic mayonnaise or mayonnaise or even some chutney. There you are, guys. My air fried crispy chicken thighs look too too delicious and i can tell you they are so yummy go ahead and give those a try i'll see you soon stay safe stay happy bye bye